Okay, right, this is on uh, making a certificate. You see, I don't think it's that great, but it's quite... This is um, for my goddaughter, Lucy. I'm going to give it to her for her birthday, actually. But as you can see, she's the cutest baby in the world. So, um, just ignore him. Um, so, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Now, since my boyfriend is being a bit of an idiot at the moment, I'm going to cheer him up. So, we're going to do one for him. So, if we open the picture of him, I think, why did I put it? Um, I think it was picture one or something. Yeah, this one. This is my boyfriend. It's not the best picture because it's a bit blurry, taken on a webcam or something, I don't know. But whatever. So we want to do, say, um, I don't know, um, thousand by a thousand. Hang on a second, let me just, want wait, sort this out. Okay, sorry about that. Right, so what we're going to do is, I think white looks best, but you can have whatever background you want, really. Um, and we're going to zoom in on his lovely face over there. And we want to um, select the pass tool again because everybody knows when you're going around a person you have to have the pass tool. So everybody do that and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so that's sorted and you just want to do shift M V, which, oh god, I've mucked up there. You can see the little bit, but that's no problem. Um, and then we just edit, cut this. And he's got a big line going through it now. But this will be okay because if we put them into this document for the moment, oh my god, obviously that is extremely too small. And we go on and then we select none layer and color. Okay, because he's like got a bit missing through his head at the moment. Just gonna um Send it over. There we go. Okay, I'll do that. Just wait one second. Okay, so I've decided that's better. So you just want to select that and then cut it off. Oh God, what's going on here? Um, hmm. What we'll do is we'll put um, transparency layer on and then just select all of that junk and get rid of that. Right. And then select, invert, edit, cut, right. So that's Kim. That looks really bad, but it won't look bad in a minute. Okay, so we're going to make the image smaller this time because obviously it wasn't that great, was it? The width and then the height can be about 400, so it'll make it look more um, shaky, like, you know what I mean? Edit, cut, control V, and we'll stick him down here. There we go, layer, and colors. And because it's a bit kind of um, solid, you can do this thing with the sparks and just like um, blur it out a little bit. I don't really know if this is going to do anything for all pictures. It looks okay-ish sometimes. Um, and then it's really easy from here on because you just pick a text. Um, if you want background, you can get these really cool brushes off um, DeviantArt, which I like a lot. But we're going to do Kisses backgrounds because Kisses are great. Um, we'll have them in, in red. And we don't want the opacity up so much, so we just um, do it in some sort of pattern. It's not that great. Over here. There we go, that'll do. Right. And then we want to go back text and we'll do it in black now we'll do it in this text because I've already said how much I like this one and we'll do the uh, 
pose and then I like doing this um, backdrop thing on it so if we go to filters, light and shadow and then drop shadow I think that looks better select Right, and we'll go on to text again. And we want to make this one a bit smaller because we're going to put more of the best. No, not that one. Because we're going to put for the best bits and ever. See, so obviously that needs to be a lot smaller. <coughs> We want to move this over. For the best boyfriend ever, filters, repeat, drop shadow. Back to text, go to um, And then we have something like Edwardian script. No, silly. We have something like Edwardian script for the name. I just think it looks better for some reason. I don't know why it just does. Where is it? Edwardian script. Karen. We want that to be a lot bigger. Um, filters, repeat, drop shadow. And you want to go back to text. Um, and you can sign it if you want to. I mean, I like signing it so they know how great they are. Oh no, we want that as a Gordian script. It gets really fiddly sometimes. Right. So if you just want to take that back to that one, and obviously that's way too huge, so we'll move it up a bit, so we can fit the barcode on in a second. And then filters, repeat drop shadow. Um, back to text. Oh god, get this off, this is just some people trying to get onto my internet. So if you go back onto that, and we want something that looks like you've actually wrote it. And there's not many that you can do that with, but I'm just going to use this one here. And we're going to put my name. Okay. And where'd it go? French scripts. There we go, that'll do. And we want to move this over. Now I don't like the drop shadow on that one, actually. So we're going to just put that there. And then this really kind of amazing thing that I've worked out is that what I've said before, I'll give you um, a link if I can find it, but you can do barcodes with a barcode font. So just put some random numbers in there and then go back onto the um, barcode. There you go. Um, make it bigger, obviously. Some more numbers on that. I'll do. Um, and then you move this over and up. Mm, it'll be better somewhere in the corner, I don't know, but that'll do. And then with those, you want to merge them all down, which could take a while since of all the drop shadows. Every time you do a drop shadow, it adds another layer, which is really, really annoying. Nearly there. And there we have it. Let's see what he thinks of it. So if we save it into my pictures. I'll okay. save it as a PNG file. And we save that. Save. Sending the file over now, so we've gone to pictures. Uh, Karen.
and wait for him to accept that, of course it's that corn. And there we go, he likes it. So that's the end of that one. Great. Um,